Next, we're gonna try to see the uh, rip test on this frame and see how strong it really is. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I built this deformation here a while back. And I've had real good luck with this frame, nothing on it's cracked or anything. But I built this mostly just because it's a 130 size and I didn't have any other 130 quadcopters. Anyway, I'm kind of kind of growing tired of this frame and I don't hardly fly this anymore just because, I don't know, I fly the other ones. But I wanted to get a different frame and then I saw this one pop up on Banggood and it reminded me of my other square frame I built. But this one is a 130. So today I'm going to take a look at this. And over the next couple months, I'm gonna sometime, I'm gonna take all the parts off of this and move over to the here so we can actually see this one fly. Since this is just a 130 frame, there's really not a lot to this frame. Basically, you got the main part here, and then it has the two side plates that, like the other uh, square one I had, they go on the side of the uh, main plate, and the spacers hold it together, and that's how it kind of gets the stability. Now, one thing you can see on here, there's no holes for a mounting for mounting your uh, flight board. So if you have a 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter, it's not going to fit on here. You're going to have to use a smaller flight board, and they did that on purpose just to save some space, I'm sure. Also, these motor uh, mounts here, the holes here on the mo for the motors are for your 1306 or your 1806. No, not 1806. That's too big. Oh, no. 1806 would work. 1806, 1306, or 1106 motors or something, with, something that has a smaller pattern. Your 2200 series motors, they're going to be too big for this frame. Uh, this frame also comes with a little camera kit, a camera mounting plate, I guess. And then it comes with a little bag of goodies to put it all together. Let me get this assembled and we'll take a little closer look at it. So here's the frame fully assembled. And there's really not a lot to it. It's just the main plate, the two side ones. And then, like I said, to hit the little spacers in here with screws that go into it to hold the uh, top plate together. And unlike the other one, this one is very, very snug on here. It's not moving at all. In fact, on one of these, I had to scrape, uh, scrape out a little bit of carbon fiber on both of these sides here on the side plate so that it would fit down in there because it was super tight. Here you can kind of tell it's a little bit tight right there and you can see just a little bit of a gap. If you squeeze real hard, maybe you could get that to go away. But like I said, it's, it's plenty solid. It's not shaking around at all. And the uh, camera mount here, it's held in place with a screw and a nut that go through here to hold the um, top part on. And then it has two just regular screws that go through the bottom to hold the uh, camera in place. So there's no there's no holes on the side of this for something like a uh, HS1177 camera. So it's probably going to be something that mounts into here, or I guess you could drill your own holes if you wanted to. The nice thing is it does have the little hole here on the side plate. So if you mount your uh, board in there, you can still have access to the uh, USB port to do the programming on it. It also came with some extra screws here um, and one of these to go into the spacer. And it has these little spacers like this. And these are in case you need to raise the camera up above like your um, flyboard. You can put these in right here like this and it will raise this camera up. Now the only bad thing is you would be sticking out a little bit above the top. But if it makes it fit, <laughs> then you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, let's see, I got a 1306 motor mounted on here now. And this is a, um, what is this? This is a DYS 1306 4000 kV motor. And here's a four inch propeller. If I put this on here, you can see, not gonna happen with four inch propellers. This is three and a half. Three and a half is still touching the frame there. So you'll have to be flying something like a three inch propeller like this one. And then it will have you know, no problem clearing the frame. And also from front to back or left to right, there's no, you know, here's the middle. So they're not going to touch here in the middle either. And same thing up here. They're not going to touch front to back either. So three inch props are the biggest you can run on this one. So here's the frame fully assembled and we'll see how much this weighs in at 33.7 grams. That seems really, really light. Well, for as little material as there is here, it's not too surprising. So let's go ahead and measure this main plate. It's it comes in about 1.9. It's a two millimeter plate, more or less, and one and a half millimeters up on the side plates. Now, we, the other thing people I know are going to ask is how much room is in between here, and there is uh, 25 and a half millimeters of space 
in between there. So, like I said, if you have a 30 millimeter flight board, which is what most of them are, you're not going to uh, be able to fit it in there. So here's the E130 set next to the Deformation 130. Now if we take these side to side, we can see here that the Deformation 130 is actually a little bit wider, because this is lined up, but it's a little bit wider. And now if we go front to back, the E130 is a little bit longer uh, this way. And that's, I don't know, I guess it's normal because then they can both be um, 130s and still be okay. If we look at this, if I measure the middle here to the middle up here, it's like 90, what is it, 93. And if I turn it and measure the other way, it actually comes in about, about the same, 93. So this really is a square, it's not an X. We'll go ahead and we'll measure how far this, uh, the motor span is on here. And if I line this up pretty close, and then I check this side, it looks like it comes out right at 130. So kudos to these guys for making it 130 and not 140 and calling it a 130. Now there are a few things on here. This has some extra little uh, brackets on here or little pieces of carbon fiber that were left in place. And these could be good for, or these ones in the back could be good for mounting your um, video, video transmitter or your receiver, maybe one on top, one on bottom. Now these up here in the front there, if I was guessing, I'd say those are this there for impact so that when you run into something, it has a little bit, a little bit more strength there to help uh, you know, prevent it from actually cracking the frame. Anyway, this is called an E130 frame, and this came from Banggood. And I'll have some links to this down in the description. If you have any questions about this frame, let me know in the comments, and I will try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.